This video introducing the purchases menu presupposes that you've already seen the introduction to sales because purchases is a mirror image. The supplier information is virtually identical except that the customer type is different. If we can find it, it's a supplier and the purchases VAT code and nominal codes will be different. Products again are set up in exactly the same way as they are for sales except that we're using here the purchases price book. Similarly there may be special price deals available from certain suppliers. A purchase order looks exactly like a purchase invoice but can be converted into a purchase invoice itself. This one has been converted and you can see it's been converted into purchase invoice 23 and when we look at that we can see it looks just like a sales invoice with all the same functionality in terms of ledger entries, payment history, where it came from, payment status, etc. Purchase credits have to be created independently. We can't create purchase credits on behalf of our suppliers, sadly. It would be lovely if we could. Purchase payments on account, those instances where we're required to make a payment to our supplier in advance. And those again work just like sales payments on account and they can be refunded if they're no longer required. Then we have purchase payments, which is a record of what's been paid in the various currencies and similarly purchase refunds. So that's all I want to cover on purchases in this video because it is, as I say, a mirror image of the sales. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the quiz.